Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma FC Skyblock. And in this video, we're just gonna be expanding some farms. We're really going for those masteries for some extra perks and stuff like that. So stay tuned to the very end and let's just get straight into it. We do have a ton of crate keys as you can see in our inventory. We got these from the crate key alls that you can get by just playing on the server and they do it randomly. So make sure to check out the Discord once they do get them. I'm gonna go ahead and claim all of these keys and I'm gonna go ahead and open them after I'm done claiming them. These crates are just gonna give us a ton of decent stuff. So let's do slash crates and it looks like we have 364 cloud keys which is pretty insane so let's go ahead and open up all of those and then we have 214 storm keys let's open up those two and let's see 100 tepid keys that uh we're gonna have to actually empty out our inventory because it is almost full we do have some pretty good stuff i can already see already we're gonna keep the spawners on um, we might have to go put on a new chest because as you can tell we do have a ton of what is it called these chunk hoppers which we don't really need because we just have we have a, we have way too many so we might be able to salvage these actually let me check that salvage which i don't even think salvaging does anything because it actually gives you gems. Okay, so that's actually pretty decent. Gems we can use for some more scrolls for our farms and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and use those. And then we have some dungeon keys, some extra ranks right there. We do have all these spawners that we're definitely going to take. That was, those are honestly going to help us. 30 value tickets. We're going to take that because we do actually need value. And we did just get 162k of island value. And that's actually really, really good. So, let's go ahead and do some crates and open up the rest of the crates that we do have. So, we do have a pretty decent amount still. We did get two holy pet eggs. We're going to definitely have to open up those. Let's open up all of these gem pouches. Some more value tickets. Boom, 158k. We're going to take that. We're going to take all the value tickets we actually can take because these value is going to help us unlock some more ice perks and stuff like that. Put some rates in there. Claim these extra keys. And let's go ahead and salvage the rest of these um, chunk hoppers because currently, I mean, oh wait, we're definitely going to take that legendary one. We do need that for an upgrade. We actually have a few legendary ones. Okay, we're definitely going to take all of those just for some upgrades. Currently, we only have a rare one, so it's going to help us sell faster and stuff. Let's go ahead and pause all of those and let's open up the final of the crates. Hopefully, we can all fit those in my inventory. And boom, it looks like I've opened up every crate. So, let's see. We got a whole bunch of spawners. Some extra keys. Some pet eggs. Let's, uh, let's just, I'm going to empty out everything I don't need. Like these value tickets. And let me salvage these, um, what are they called? The, um, chunk hoppers that I don't need. So, all these rare ones I don't need. Because I did get some legendary ones like this. Which basically, it's the items per tick is 100. And the right for the rare ones is only 50. So, it is going to be going double the speed. And we're going to place on all these spawners. Let me just put everything else away. And let me claim, let me go ahead and claim these XP pouches because we do really, really need XP to help enchant some of our tools and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out this um, auto cell or hopper thingy, the chunk hopper. Let's go place that down. So that's going to be going a little bit faster, hopefully. And hold up, let me do slash fly. Uh, let me reset. Let me place on all these spawners. So we got 18 cow spawners. Let's go ahead and place those down. We do have a pretty good farm going right now. Oh, uh, where's the cow? So boom. I think it's going to actually be maxed out. Okay, we're going to have to make a new stack of those. But I'm just going to do that probably later. I just want to place on all the main spawners now. 33 blazes. We do have a pretty good collection here. This should get us to a decent amount. Let me just spam all them there. And we're going to be making a new... We're going to be making a new stack of blazes right there. So we're going to take that. Yeah, we're just, we have a decent amount of spawners currently. So we're just going to take all of these. We have... um. I'm just gonna place them all down we honestly have a lot of spawners and it's gonna take a while i might have to make some new stacks and stuff so i'll be back once i've done all that okay so i'm done placing down all these spawners and it's looking pretty good right now i don't know if this is the most efficient but we do have some scrolls on like some of the good spawners like the villager spawners so we have the scroll of magic which basically gives us more drops per mob then we have the fire scroll which automatically puts them on fire and then we have the loot scroll which just gives us more loot actually i'm pretty sure the scroll of magic just boosts the amount of spawn rate that they have so they're just gonna be spawning a lot faster and and that's pretty good so our farm right here is pretty good we're doing pretty good we did get the chunk hopper upgrade and i do want to go ahead and get this auto sell chest upgrade because it is pretty bad right now and it is full like like it's selling pretty pretty slow and we just needed to sell a lot faster for it does want to keep up with their current farm and we do have this wheat farm going it is pretty good we did actually change it up a bit i didn't finish doing that but then we did go ahead and start this potato farm because if we check the is masteries we do want to go and try to get to the carrots because if we check in the ice perks the next challenge for the crop growth is to actually get to unlock the three crops types of the island mastery so that's going to take a bit but we're definitely going there we have a pretty good farm set up we have two farms actually and we just need to get to the carrot mastery and let's check how much we are actually at if we go ahead and take a look in the ice mastery 
and hover over the potatoes we're at 1k out of 15k so we do have a ways to go but we are honestly getting there i do want to go ahead and open up these pet eggs because we are in some need of some pets so let's open up all three of these and let's see if we can hopefully get some good pets okay we got some new pets holy zeus pet has the power to smite all nearby mobs instantly killing them that doesn't seem too bad a holy chopper pet has the ability to break trees in a 15 by 15 radius i think this is for wood cutting i haven't really looked into that and then a common universal pet i'm pretty sure i already have one of those so not bad pets i mean we could definitely have gotten better the zeus pet we're gonna have to experiment with because it has the power to smite all near my nearby mobs might be pretty good and so yeah so we're gonna keep up we're gonna keep a hold on to that let's go ahead and put that into our chest for now but yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and start farming because that is the main goal of today's video i really do need to get to the mastery level up or at least get a pretty good ways and with these farms we're gonna, we're gonna be getting a lot of gems and stuff so yeah we're just trying to get to the highest the farming crop so we could actually get start making a ton of money from farming i did get three farming books earlier so let's go ahead and get those in my pv i do want to go ahead and see if we could apply any more enchants onto our hoe because we are currently farming so let's go ahead and work to the enchanter and these two, i have three books in total and i do have a pretty decent amount of xp so we're gonna take that and let's just go and open up all of them so let's see in the first one let's see, hopefully we can get a good enchant treasure hunter find keys book hunter and okay let's go for the book hunter because more books is definitely going to help us in the long run okay let's open up another one let's see hopefully we get some good enchants i really don't know like what other enchants there are um i guess we go with book hunter again i don't really know what the max tier is we already have the first level of it and for the last book let's see which one we can actually get okay find gems find enchant book okay let's go with the find gems one actually gems are honestly really really good just so we can help our mob farm out and okay let's see how much they cost and for the first one 38 not bad let's go put another level there and let's see if we could go ahead and put the archaeologist and boom okay that was not bad we do have a pretty good hoe now and we're gonna definitely get more enchants from those book hunter um enchantments but let's go back to the island i do want to go ahead and farm and hopefully the archaeologist actually makes it um like a more noticeable difference for the gems because we do need gems for some scrolls and stuff you can also get some stat satchels which basically hold some extra blocks and stuff and with the farm currently how i have it set up is we can actually mine back and forth like this instead of going row by row so it is a lot more efficient and we're gonna go ahead and farm the potatoes actually because we do need to go ahead and get this mastery up i do want to go ahead and expand this farm but that's going to be for another video or yeah i'm going to do that probably off camera or another video make sure to check out the next one that i'm going to go ahead and post oh yeah i'm just going to continue to farm this hopefully we get it the mastery up a few thousand that's honestly the main goal a few thousand will help us a ton i don't really know how many crops currently are on this little platform i think it should be around like a thousand or something like that i don't really know but yeah we're just our main goal is just to help get those masteries leveled up for the crop growth rate boost yeah we've gone up about 400 or so i don't really i'm not really keeping track but we're at 2k now we're at like 1k so yeah this is definitely going to uh, help us get to the next mastery it is going to take a bit and i am going to have to expand it just so it speeds up the process but yeah i'm going to end these there this was a pretty short video but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos and i'll see you in the next one peace out